Alright everybody, I'm going to attempt to make a oil catch can. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while on my vehicle, um, and instead of using some, um, I, I've noticed a lot of people use like a, um, a water bottle, one of those aluminum water bottles, or um, buying one off of eBay or something like that. I thought I would make one with some stuff that I had lying around, um, or I bought pretty inexpensively at the uh, uh, part store. Um, I will be using a seafoam can, as we can see here. Um, I have already um, pre-cut and dremeled some parts or uh, some holes on these, so um, that would make this a little quicker. Uh, I also have some JV Weld. Um, a couple of the stainless steel scrubbers that I'll use inside as baffling. Um, two push-in style connectors. They're a quarter, let's say, I believe this is a quarter by one-eighth push-in um, elbow. Um, I also have, I believe this was a, a three-eighths by one-quarter barb elbow. This is a quarter-inch drain cock. I'll be using, because um, it'll actually be sitting like this um, instead of uh, like this. Because um, I'll also be using, I believe this is a one inch uh, end cap, a PVC end cap. I'll just stick on the end here and that drain cock will go right there. Um, I also have a straight barb. This is a 3 eighths by 1 quarter inch hose barb that will go off the side here. Um, I'll go off the side for one of the um, fittings to uh, <clears throat> install our my 3 eighths inch uh, hose. I have vacuum hose. Um, I also, these elbows are kind of going to be on the side here to, um, as an indicator, a uh, fluid indicator. If it's getting too high, I can drain it. Um, the piece of copper tubing here, uh, I, it is called a stub out. Um, I found this and thought it would be a pretty interesting thing to use instead of getting an end cap because it, they pretty much welded at the end here. and. Um, looks kind of like this without the holes and everything and uh, is used I guess a pre-solder to uh, um, make an end on some copper tubing. Um, so what I have done um, on this piece is about I think it's like a one and a half um, centimeters I put holes all the way down on four sides um, except for one which I've left kind of bare for the first uh, six or first uh, two or three inches. Um, that is where this barb is going to be. Um, basically, it's going. It's to help from oil being pulled through. Um, it's for it to drain all the way down, um, and then I've continued the rest of the way down. <clears throat> this will go through the top here, and it'll sit vertically. And then the um, steel wool will go around this to act as a baffle. Um, now you're kind of wondering how am I going to get it in here without cutting it off. Well, that is a good question. I will let you know as soon as I get there. Um, but uh, first things first, um, I am going to JB weld these connectors on here. They will sit. And actually, I've got these so well that I can uh, kind of thread them on here. They'll sit kind of like this. The other one will go right here. I'll J, J, uh, JB weld them uh, like so. I will then, um, I've also on this one, I have <clears throat> dremeled out the inside here so that it'll fit right around the mouth of this, uh, this here and kind of just pop it in place. And it can stay there like this and then all I have to do is uh, JB weld this on, JB weld this on. Um, and then the this piece here, the elbow, is going to fit right on top of that and it's going to be JB welded on. And now I'm also going to make sure that this is facing that same direction that this small portion that I left uh, un, um, untapped by uh, the holes. And this will fit down in here and sit pretty much like this. I'm going to leave about a half an inch and then I will JB weld this into place. Um, this is also after of course I've gotten this in so we'll go through <clears throat> I will also show you the finished product in just a second um, just thought I'd give you a brief uh, you know, 
quick fit. This is actually the first time I fit most of these parts on here after um, cutting these holes. Now the holes don't have to be exact. Um, I kind of just eyeballed everything and put it to where I think it was supposed to be. So um, you can make variations. You don't even have to put this on here if you want. Uh, you can just leave it as a uh, drain cock with the end cap and then just the fittings. Um, this will be the intake. This will go out towards your, or this will be um, from the um, PCV valve. This will go out towards your intake. <clears throat> so let's, uh, I'm going to cut here and I'm going to show you um, the finished, at least uh, everything welded on, uh, JB welded into place. Alright, I figured I'd show you how I uh, got this, the first one in, um, the stainless steel scrubber here. Um, they come out of the box looking like this. Basically what I did was I kind of folded it, or I uh, was able to pull out the center and basically I um, because we're going to be wrapping it around that copper tube which is currently sitting in here now um, acting as a uh, follower um, <clears throat> so I elongated it um, I also kind of rounded out the middle making it look like an elongated donut and so after that I took it put it over my finger and then stuck it right on the center of that um, copper tube and then slowly just started um, kind of working it around that tube and into the container. Uh, it'll take a minute or two. I took, took me a few minutes to get that other one in. Um, you also gonna have to uh, work it a little bit <clears throat> and keep going. Just make sure you're getting it around that copper tube. Um, it, again, it's called a stub out. Um, there, whoops. There we go, we got the second one in there. And after that I took a piece of cardboard and just kind of lightly pushed it down a little bit more. Now, I was thinking of maybe putting at least three in here. I'm not sure yet if I want to do that. But it's your preference if you want more, because this is going around that, that uh, um, copper uh, stub out in there and it's just making sure that when uh, the air is moving past it it catches that oil and that uh, that moisture that's caught up in that uh, line so um, I would say more might be better but less might be better for better for airflow um, I haven't decided yet but I'll leave it up to you if you want to do that or not um, so I'm going to continue on and uh, going to finish JB welding this. Uh, I figured I'd just throw this in here and uh, show you how I got those in here because it is a enclosed container with a small opening to get those in there. Um, so uh, cut back and you will see the finished product. Alright everybody, we now have a finished product. Uh, it's taken a while to uh, set everything and uh, get the uh, GB weld set but this is the finished product um, I was probably gonna spruce it up and paint it a different color um, the one thing I wish I had done um, I'm not sure if you notice I, I took the paint off right where I was gonna be JB welding the one spot I did not do was right down here I wish I had done that um, hopefully it doesn't bite me in the butt later on um, by popping off or something but um, otherwise I am happy with uh, how this came out um, all we have to do now is just uh, hook this up into a spot on your vehicle. It looks a bit long, but hopefully I can find a spot somewhere, um, which I will probably uh, cut to next um, and show you where I placed it on my vehicle and uh, <clears throat> see how it works. This is an experiment really for me, um, just seeing how uh, something like this works for my vehicle. 
Um, I have a lot of issues with oil consumption. Hopefully maybe this will uh, help a little bit with that as well as uh, help it burn a little cleaner. Um, also run a bit smoother. So uh, hopefully this was uh, helpful for you. Uh, I know I didn't go through steps, but I kind of explained everything, how you know it's kind of your choosing as to where you want to place these. Um, just cut a couple holes, stick them in, JB weld them on. Um, cut and uh, <clears throat> modify that uh, that uh, tube that I had um, and uh, or the stub out I gotta call it by its right name stub out put some holes in it to uh, let air uh, vent through it and all the moisture and whatever that comes out through the um, valve cover um, in, into here so it collects it so um, I'm hoping that looks that's uh, what you've been looking for um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to give uh, post them up, and I will uh, follow up with an install uh, video later.